on using the Brown Math Editor, and I'm going to show you some other really great tricks. Uh, first question, for the equal sign, student can type the ASCII symbols on the laptop keyboard when not using the focus, space, period, did okay. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, the focus, colon, me, space, a period, the letter case. On the focus. Ed, land. Okay. Enter. So if you have a student actually do G.7 in space and go to computer braille, uh, so if you go to your JAWS settings uh, with insert six and you type in braille mode, you'll actually see the modes of which she is. And the input is going to be computer braille and the output is UEB2. So when she inputs in computer braille, which is incredibly fast, um, she will output beautiful. It will come out with the opening fraction indicator, et cetera. Uh, the difference is in computer braille, it's going to be for the equal sign, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. But when she brails, all she has to do is a dot two for one. So let's just do one plus two equals three. one. Okay. And uh, it will automatically, I don't have my brow display with me. So of course, I'm just going to mimic what the brow display will do. Space. And uh, when you do the all equals, oh, sorry. Space, one. Okay. Uh, all equals, and on the brow display, it's alt n e i. That's how she gets into the all equals. So let's do that. All equals, selected, T Y P E E Q U T I O N A T R E dot math. That it centers because that is the default of how all equals is. And this is what we want to change. So I'm actually answering the bottom question. I'm using BME with another student and don't know how to make the equations je left justified. Okay. So uh, I'm going to control Z and undo that. And I'm going to show you a really easy way. Undo. Okay. If you do one period, one period space, auto correct colon list item. And that should be off also. I'm on a different computer that I'm not typically on. That's the reason why that's on. And if you don't know how to turn that off, let's just do this quickly. File, tools, proofreading. Alt F, F menu, home, to move through a T, T, general, one of 11, to move to an IP, T, proofing. Alt A. Alt A. Word options, dialog, replace colon, edit, type in text, alt plus. Control tab Math auto, auto format, as you type tabs. Tab, eight times. Quotes, ordinals, fraction, hyphens, star bold, internet, automatic, automatic numbered list, checkbox, check. Space bar and check. Space, not checked. Enter and close. Enter, document, one dash word, word options, yeah, auto correct, once, when correcting, spelling, and might enter, close. edit. Okay. Now, try to. Enter. Do. One period space. Notice no issue. Now alt equals alt equals selected, and it automatically is left justified. Okay, that's still not our issue. But let me go over the computer braille first thing, and then I'm going to show you how to get that left justified, no matter what, even if you don't do the number one period. So in computer braille, g.7 in space, you're going to hear computer braille. All she has to do is do one, one plus, plus two. two, and the equals is going to be one two three four five six. Equals, equals three. three. And of space. course, we know in the editor, it automatically puts those spaces in there. When she feels on the broad display, she's going to see the um, opening fraction indicator if she's doing one half plus whatever. Uh, so it's going to read in perfect Nemeth code. Her period, if she's going to do a one period, it's going to be dot two. And the period is four six, which you guys already know for Nemeth code. Okay, let's go ahead and get this fixed. Enter. So if you for, if you forget or you just don't want to do number one, two, three, four, let's go ahead and do all equals. All equals selected. T Y P. Okay, now visually, I'm gonna take my mouse up here. You see an extra menu opens. It says equation. Uh, if you're with a student and you forget, you know it's J E. You don't have to always remember. If you just hit the Alt key, Jaws will tell you what the combo command is to get to equation. So you're going to do Alt and just listen. Upper ribbon, equation tools, equation tab, Alt followed by Y, J, E. So you love that. Alt, J, E. So let's do J, E. J, E. Okay. So the next thing is, let me visually show you where this is. You're going to take your mouse. But you want to show the student how to do this also. We're going to go to T1. See that down in the equation? That uh, Down in the quarter right there under the conversions. So now I'm going to do it with my keyboard. T1, e. leaving menus, leaving ribbons, Alt plus F. This is an incredibly extensive dialog box. But if you visually see all the way down, let me take my mouse, and you see justification, the default is standard on group. Why? I don't know. Uh, but of course, you want to teach the student the hotkey. With our oldest students, I just say, I want you to go through this so you can see all your different options. You're probably working with younger students. So you can just walk them through this because they do need to know where this is at. Alt J. Alt J, equation options, dialog, list box, list box, center, this group button, right button, center, left button. Left. Enter. enter document one dash word equation okay. options just now if you hit enter right now it's only going to change it for this document now visually you see down the bottom left hand corner defaults and this is always true you want to set the default 
so you don't have to keep coming back here. Alt D. Alt D. Equation options dialog. Microsoft Word dialog. This change will affect all new documents based on the normal template. Yes button to activate. Press enter. Document one dash word. Okay. Equation options. Then, Default. Okay button to activate. Press enter. Edit. So now, and you can see it automatically left justifies. So you can go ahead and plus slash two your, space. Yeah, and we don't really plus just love this space oh one slash two space oh. equals space oh. one. Yeah, we love that. Okay, now hit enter because you always want to test out your work. Enter. Ta -da! Beautiful. So um, when the student the student can do it on the keyboard just absolutely flawlessly. Also, when they're in compute when they're in computer braille though, the Nemesis is uh, twice as short because in BME, you're gonna to have to do the opening fraction indicator and closing fraction indicator, and you're gonna to have to do the dot five. Uh, so when the students really need to get the work done and every student needs to know both ways. Uh, so G.7 space, you can go ahead and move through to contracted. You can also do it with um, computer out, uh, computer in, excuse me, contracted out, which is basically um, kind of part of computer braille, but once again, the math is much faster. And as the kids get older, they're just gonna do the all equals. That is just so much faster. But when you're on the focus, you can open your equation editor also with alt N E I. Let's go that long way. Ready? Alt N. Alt N, upper ribbon, insert tab, alt followed okay. by N. Now visually, it's all the way at the end. Okay, you see that E right there. So let's hit E. E. Leaving menus, equation list box, built back in, area of circle button to move. All the way down. Insert new equation, alt followed by N, E, I. I. Leaving okay. menus, print view, edit. And you'll notice it automatically goes to the left all the time. Uh, okay, great questions. Um, keep them coming. And that is how you uh, do the math editor. Once again, teach it both on the keyboard and the Braille display. We already know when you're on the Braille display, you can whip that math out so much faster than you can on the keyboard, but both are possible. And using uh, computer Braille on the Focus Braille display is just incredibly fast. Okay, that's how you do that. Bye. Menu.